In this video, we'll see how to take a data set and determine the minimum of the data set. From the minimum and the given class width, we'll see how we can set up a nice lower class limit for the start of the distribution. To determine the minimum of the data set, just look at all the numbers and find the smallest number. In this example, the smallest number is 33,000. Now, the minimum is related to the lower class limit because the lower class limit must be less than or equal to the minimum. It's also nice to have the lower class limit be a multiple of the class width. That way you could count back the classes and end up at exactly zero. One way of doing this is to take the minimum and divide by the class width. In this case, we take the 33,000 that we just found and divide by 2,000. We get 16.5, which lets us know that we can't start our first class at 33,000 and expect to go back by 2,000s and end up at zero. But if we started at zero and went up by 2,000, 0, 2,000, 4,000, and so on, we could end up, after 16 classes, at 32,000. 32,000 is a nice number for a lower class limit because it's a multiple of the class width and it's the largest multiple of the class width that is still less than the minimum. So we just take the minimum and divide by the class width, then round that down, and then take that and multiply it by the class width. 16 times 2,000 gives us 32,000.